because one of the furniture items will actually feed in the fur a few of the furniture items are actually bunk beds do you know how long we have wanted real bunk beds here in Bloxburg okay ones where you don't have to try to go up to the second floor to make it yes they are here so this little area in the city is it's basically where the slime shop was and um so I'm just gonna use this area to put the updated furniture here so that we can test it out okay and also once I'm done I'm probably gonna delete it because this area is supposed to be for a real shop that we haven't really decided on yet so yes let's get into the video hey Graham okay let's go oops I almost clicked main menu that is so oof I did that before once and I had to like restart and I had to reload the entire city it was so annoying oh yeah if you guys want to see how we did this to the streets too we removed all the Halloween stuff and we fixed the floors so yeah if you want to see that I'll post a video of that a little later because I did record it I just forgot to upload it because I didn't really think anyone would care <laughs> so yeah okay let's start this area I'm gonna put a floor because you know we're trying to be professional one of those professional reviewing pages you know the ones that are really professional <laughs> this color there we go alrighty now that we have a beautiful looking room we're gonna decorate with the new stuff alrighty so go over to the new category and these are the new furniture items oh uh, so let's put the armchair I'm gonna put everything down but like I said we are here for the bunk beds okay we got a little painting over here all right we also have look a wide painting you guys see those shapes they're different Let's put this one right under there. Oh my goodness, look. There's also a tall painting shape. This is really, really good. I can see a lot of people using this in their builds. In fact, we have a secret build that we're working on and I actually think we may have to redo something because this will help us just one up with one of the builds that I've just put a lot of decals on. All right, and so now we also have circular paintings, round paintings. Oh, I know exactly what I can use that for too on the build. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff to delete on that other plot. We're trying to hurry up too so you guys can see it. Alrighty, there's also this little couch right here, a contemporary sofa. And now it is time for, wait, let's put the table too. Um, we're just gonna put the table like kind of on the street, like, you know, like, <laughs> like this. Wait, okay, let's keep turning it. All right, we're just gonna throw the table on the street. There we go, and now it's time for the bunk beds. Okay, this is what we're here for. Oh wait, I probably should have made the room bigger because uh, these are pretty big. All right, there's a traditional bunk bed, that's $600. There's the traditional bunk bed and desk. And that is, hold on, hold on, $608. There's also, okay, we're running out of space for the bunk beds. So I'm going to actually move the sofa and the chair. I'll move that and put it under the painting. There we go. All right, now we have no space. Okay, then there's the metal bunk bed and desk and that's $800, it's more expensive than the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and put that. Let's rotate it, I rotate it some more. Okay, there we go. You know what, this is definitely not enough space for what I was trying to do, but there's no turning back now. We've already started, so let's just go with the flow. All right, one, two, three. Then there's uh, one, two, three. The fourth one is the perpendicular bed. It's a large bunk bed combined with a desk and a bookcase, and that is $1,190. That is the most expensive bunk bed. All right, 
right, so now that we have them all here, we're about to see what we can color on them. So, let's see. Okay, so, wait, I think you can pretty much color everything. So, I don't know why it's called the metal bunk bed. Because, um, you can change the texture, I think. Yeah, you can change the texture to whatever you want. So, I guess I'm just going to pick some different colors. We're going to go with pink, as always. We'll make the sheets white. We'll make the wooden part of the desk like the part where you put like your books and stuff we're gonna make that um we're just gonna make that plain yeah we're not wait oh no actually we should keep it as a wood texture a wooden texture just so that it like makes sense you know where's that wooden texture there we go okay and then over here so this is the metal of the bunk bed we can change that color if we want we're just going to make it a light silver there we go all right that's the first one actually let me go ahead and change this to pink as well yeah all right let's go over to the other ones let's color this yeah you know you can pretty much color all the stuff so let's just do the same colors one all right and now for this couch looks like you can color the couch everything on it too the sofa the pillows and the exterior skeleton whatever you want to call it <laughs> so let's just go ahead and um pink and then this one there we go okay yeah oh let's also color this there we go and let's color the giant one all right Let's get out of build mode and let's go take a look at these things and see the sizes of them. I got really nervous for a second. I thought that I was about to lag out of the server. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Come on in. Two. Oh, wait. She's probably AFK. All right. So, these are the paintings. This is how large they are when they're right next to you. We're going to change that. Change the picture to, let's see. Let's, let's put like a cartoon or something. Um, yeah, <laughs> cool, <laughs> okay, and let's change this one to, um, let's look for a flower, yes, a beautiful flower, so beautiful, we should change this one to a flower too, but it's, it's kind of too late, alright, let's change the pictures on this one, and you can see me standing next to them, you see just how tall they are, Beautiful, beautiful, oh, wait. Okay, well that kind of stretched out the picture a little, kind of made it look a little funny. And this is the one that's horizontal. Let's put, um, flower. Yeah, so for these, you should probably try to make your own decal for them because if you just choose one of the ones from the catalog, it's it seems like it's gonna stretch it out and make it look really weird. And the photo is not really loading, so I think I might be lagging. Let's try another one. Okay. Yeah, so it kind of stretches it out. So you may want to find your own. I mean, make your own. All right. So there's the sofa chairs, the sofa, and then these are the bunk beds. This is the one that has two. So this one was $600. Sleep. Here we go. It's super easy to climb up here. You don't have to jump to start the ladder climb, like how I have to climb sometimes when I'm going on the ladder in a game. And the bottom one, okay, so this is the desk one, and I probably should have put a chair under here, but too late now. You guys can see all this stuff in here. You can put books on the shelves. You can put things on your desk, and let's see what happens if I click sleep. Yeah, so you can kind of take a shortcut to the top by just standing down here. Wait, wait, wait. Where did it go? It just worked. Now it doesn't want to work. There we go. See, look. And then you don't even have to climb the ladder. All right, so we have the metal one. The metal one actually takes up less space than this one. But with that being said, you don't have any space to put like books on the bookshelf over there. So I guess it depends on how much space you have to work with when you're making your room. But yeah, you can take the shortcut to the top on this one too. This is the table. But like I said, we're here for the bunk bed. So let's just like zoom on past that. 
And this one! This bunk bed is way larger than the one over there. It takes up a lot of space. So this is really for a really, really huge room. Yep, so these are all the bunk beds that I came to show you guys. There are other updates too, like languages. It's also an update where, okay, first you cannot see your chat bubble. Look at this. You can't see your chat bubble. I don't know if that's permanent, but it's been like that ever since we started playing the update. So I guess we'll have to see if it stays like this. It's going to be so hard to do role plays because you won't be able to see what the characters are typing unless you look at the chat. Uh, all my friends on this server are gone, so I don't think it's going to work for me. But basically when you're near your friends, you don't lose your perms, not your perms, you don't, use, you don't lose your health stats as quickly. So like if you guys are hanging out, you don't have to worry about going and taking a nap and eating as often as you would if you weren't hanging out with your friends, if that makes sense. So yeah, there are other updates to it too, but like I said, we are here for the bunk bed and this is kind of a mess. So I'm probably going to delete some of the items here and just kind of make this like a temporary room and... Because of all the space that is taking up, I'm definitely going to stick with the really thin bunk bed, this one. And I'm just going to delete the others <laughs> because I don't have enough space in the apartment buildings over there. Bye, guys. We will see you next time. Emoj says, hey, YouTube. Chloe Swell says, bye. And yeah, bye, guys. Thank you for watching my channel. Pretzel at so. Pretzel and so Pretzel and so Pretzel and so